A drone strike killed a man in the town of Stanislav, southeast of Kherson city. Kherson Governor Alexander Prokudin said on Saturday. It has since confirmed three more deaths. On Sunday morning, Prokudin wrote telegram that couple in their 80s was killed after Russian artillery shell hit. Residential building. Body of dead man was discovered the center of Kherson after clearing rubble. His identity is still being established. He added. According to Kiev Independent, the area was attacked 88 times over past day. Updated at 10.30 set 1 h ago 17.00 set closing summary waves Russian ing and drone attacks have now claimed the lives of four people in the southern Ukrainian region Kherson. Nine more people were injured in attacks that President Volodymyr Zelensky said were committed by terrorists. The humanitarian NGO rescued three children from Russian-occupied areas, including an eight-year-old boy and orphaned siblings. The head of Ukrainian humanitarian NGO Save Ukraine confirmed on social media that 24 children had been returned since February 226 last year. Ukrainian Orthodox Christians are preparing to celebrate Christmas on December 25 for the first time since President Volodymyr Zelensky signed a law to move the celebration. Zelensky said the change would allow Ukraine to ignore the Russian legacy of imposing Christmas celebrations on January 7. Updated at 17.03 set 1 h ago 16.43 set Ukrainian Orthodox Christians are preparing to celebrate Christmas on December 25 for the first time after a change in law took the country far away from Moscow. Ukrainians are set celebrate Christmas tomorrow for first time since President Volodymyr Zelensky signed a law in July to move the celebration. A symbolic shift from Russia that will allow Ukraine ignore Russian legacy of imposing Christmas celebrations on January 7, he said he would give it. In the southern black seaport of Odessa, churchgoers prayed and lit candles as priests in golden vests held a Christmas Eve service at the Nativity Cathedral. One parishioner, Olena, mostly a frontline doctor told AFP, we believe that we should celebrate Christmas with the whole world. Far away from Moscow. For me this is the new message now. We really want to celebrate in a new way. This is a holiday with our independent Ukraine. With all Ukraine. Updated at 17.04 set 2 h ago 16.15 set humanitarian NGO rescued three children from Russian occupied areas and returned around 230 people in total. An eight-year-old boy was among three children rescued from occupied territory by the Ukrainian humanitarian NGO Save Ukraine. The Kiev Independent reported in a social media post earlier today. Mikola Kuliba, the organization's president, wrote, three more children from temporarily occupied areas have been returned to the Save Ukraine team. Thus, we completed 14 rescue missions, saving 14 children, seven whom were children deprived parental care. For today, Save Ukraine team has already returned to Ukraine 24 chains.